How's it going dudes and dudettes? It's another dude. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Telltale's Game of Thrones. Where we last left off, our leg was being repaired because it had a severe cut Ash. on it. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Hey, I know an Ethan. Mira. He's a pretty cool guy. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Oh yeah, that's who, um... That's what the medic was telling me about. He said Lady Forrester was gonna come by later. Um... So yeah, obviously that's important. Right. Never easy being a fourth-born son. I would know, because I'm a fourth-born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Well, he's dead now, so... And lastly, we got... Roderick. This guy. He was our best warrior by far. That was the cool guy that I didn't want to die in the first episode. Okay. Mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Where... Uh, can I... There we go. No, not into the chairs, please. I want to go... Down. There we go. Um... Talk to... Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Uh... <laughs> And I leave now? Who is the new lord of the house? Why do the witch hills hate us? Never mind. Uh... Can I leave now? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yeah, it's true, sadly. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Is she gonna be my girl? Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. You saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? Yours, he asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs, with his family. Thank you. I have ordered a question. Of yeah, course, then. my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's we'll given to you. Stand Ethan. against aggression. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. 
Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be hurt. We need to be smart. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Well, it's too early <sighs> anyway. Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But no, this but... will accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who would defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair. But it is what's best. That settles it then. I'm trying not to come up as a rat. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Maybe. I've been waiting for the right moment. moment to tell you. What? What is it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... The North Grove can never be lost. Okay, so that was a combination of the two choices. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Uh, <sighs> it's gonna suck a bit leg. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. Garrett, 
Jared, wait! Be safe. He would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. My father said he was going to the store. I wish store. I was here. He never came back. And Asha. <laughs> and, and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want her to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. He said it himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And um, he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asha, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. You really can't fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Those are Roderick, the stiffest Asha. Swings I have ever We'd all be seen out here life. for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. Funny it with that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Literally every kid ever. That's how it should work. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. 
He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay no, no, with his family. I'm sorry if I, I might remind you, Sir Royland, I'm the new Lord of House Forester, not you. Of course, my lord. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. I think I kind of like this guy. Why do I feel like I'm not going to like him as the game progresses? Which, by the way, people were... I got a comment that said that they couldn't get... They were playing the game and they couldn't get into it because it was kind of boring. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. It is a little boring. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. Your business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men know <laughs> Anything Lord else. Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt! What? Okay, sorry about no that. No fucking bread and salt. You bloody amateur. No courtesies. That was a weird mouth movement. I should have expected as much. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I thought I that would be an insult. It wasn't. Not likely. Crap. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have you back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. You had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. I didn't know What's this guy was going to cuss this Whitehill? much. Well, you sure look smug. <laughs> your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Oh. Hear that? Wow. Attacked for no reason. You murdered his no family. Reason. You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Uh-oh. Lady Forrester, 
You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. The most plastic-looking woman menace? I've ever seen. I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Oh, that's his mom. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. <laughs> it says he will. Smug blonde. Get out of here. You ain't Your son cool. did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Okay. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. This game doesn't really give you a chance to... Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to stop this episode right here. And I'm going to kick off the third episode with her. So, yeah. Um, not much really happened in this video. Uh, we told the big fat guy to go F himself and uh, Garrett got sent to the wall and uh, yeah that was basically it and we got introduced to Ethan um, but yeah um, hopefully hopefully things start picking up here because I would like to see something interesting happen so yeah anyways guys thank you guys for watching and as always I'll see you guys later in the next video goodbye